minutes too late. I didn't make the class. No better time than to start off my day in my life getting out of a funk, <laughs> getting back into a routine video by missing my workout class. That's okay. At least I know where it is now. I was trying out a new studio anyways. Normally if I was like a minute or two late, if it was somewhere that I had been, I would- Oh my gosh, there's a puppy. There's a puppy in the Pilates studio. Well, it's five minutes past, so I definitely can't go in now. But I will be back, and hopefully the puppy is too. Welcome back to another video. I'm Clara, I live in Charleston, and today we're getting out of that like winter funk, winter uglies little thing. This is uploading on the first of a month, the first of February, so if you're watching it the day it goes live, then maybe you'll have like that behind you too to kind of get you motivated. Oh my gosh, I wish I could show you this puppy right now. It's looking right at me. Shut up. I'm over on Mount Pleasant and I didn't realize how deep into Mount Pleasant the studio was so now that I know it's like a solid 25 minutes away I will plan accordingly the next time I book a class but I'm trying to think if there's anything that I need to do on Mount Pleasant while I'm over here there's a Target really close to where I am but I don't think I need anything I'm trying to basically justify the fact that round trip I will have wasted an hour of my morning on this but it's not looking like there's much I can do because everything opens at 10 and it is 8.30. So maybe it's just in my best interest to get back home. I need ground pork. I wish I was kicking off the video with some more groundbreaking advice other than a self tan, but you and I both know that that really helps with the winter funk. So I'm going to be marinating this for the next three hours. So I thought I would just put it on now and then get into like all the other stuff so I can be multitasking if you want to call it that. This is a one hour express, but I like to keep it on for three or four hours. So it's the Bondi Sands Arrow. I use a mitt on my body. This makeup brush that I've kind of just dedicated as my self tan brush, it's from Real Techniques. I'll do that on like my chest and my hands. And then this is how I get my back. You can get these on Amazon. If you self tan yourself and you don't know how to get your back, this is like such a game changer. It's not completely foolproof. Sometimes I will like reach back with a little brush, but this is like such a good combo for doing your back by yourself. I'll put a layer of that on my body and then later tonight I will do the Isle of Paradise light self tanning drops for the face. I mix these in with a moisturizer. I used to have the dark ones because I tend to gravitate towards, yeah, what is this one? Like probably their extra dark formula for my body. So for my face, I would just get the same shades. But I actually found that if you go for a lighter tanning drop or a lighter face tan, it looks more natural on your face because you have to blend it obviously into your hairline and there's just more room for error with like a dark self tanning drop so if you've tried these but you haven't tried the light then i suggest you try the light ones and you can just mix these in with your moisturizer and honestly use them on more of like an every day every other day basis okay maybe not every day maybe like three times a week and even if the rest of your body isn't tan you're maybe you're just like wearing hoodies and leggings and you don't want to do like a full self tan i swear doing like little face drops three times a week has a similar effect on the winter uglies as a full body self tan because this will just add like a little bit of glow. I think any sort of reset, getting out of a funk, you know, this type of situation is a three-pronged approach. First prong is like you, yourself, your body, your appearance. Second prong is your space, your home, your apartment, your room, the environment that you're in. And the third is like almost like planning and like maybe your digital life in the sense of like your inbox or I don't know what we could call the third prong, but it's like you, your home, and then your life, maybe that's how we should look at it. So I'm starting on you, obviously. I'm marinating my tan now. Now I'm gonna get started on life before I get started on the home because clearly it needs some help. But I'm just gonna run through my favorite ways to like organize my life, plan my days, plan my weeks, stuff like that. Planning is so individualized that my way of planning might be someone else's like worst nightmare. Some people like to do it all digitally. I personally like to do it mainly like old fashioned paper, pen. Um, and then I'll do like some stuff in my notes app. But I think it's not really a one size fits all thing, but I do think I found a planner that can be one size fits most. I really love an undated planner. And if you're unfamiliar with what that is, 
this. It's literally a planner. This one happens to be weekly, but you can get undated daily planners where you fill in the days of the week, like the numerical days of the week and like what month it is and everything like that. And that way, if you're like me and you go through spurts of planning out every single week, every single day, and then you'll go three weeks without ever reaching for your planner, maybe because you're traveling, life is looking a little different. I don't know the reason, but if you fall off from your planner and you're using a calendar like date planner that already has the dates printed in it, you're kind of like wasting like a whole chunk of the planner and planners aren't cheap. So I like an undated planner because I can come and go and I can plan as I please. And if it's not serving me, then I can just stop planning and I'm not like wasting days. I don't have to flip past all the blank pages and you know, feel some type of way about not having anything written on those. So I like this undated planner from Avery, like that school supply brand. You can get this on Amazon. I've been using it for a few months, probably like six months. But again, I don't have six month worth of pages filled out because I take breaks from it and stuff. I skip all of their like little goal planning pages and stuff. That's not really my vibe. I just go straight to the weekly spread. And I like this one because there's categories at the top. So within each day, you have what is that seven categories so if you have three kids you can give each of them their own categories if you work multiple jobs you can separate your tasks by job i don't know you can just separate it the way that it makes sense in your brain i separate mine by my schedule so those are things that are like actually timed during the day like meetings workout classes calls stuff like that like if there is an actual timed thing that is happening at a certain hour i put it in the schedule i do a column for my inbox i'm really really bad about emails i really i don't know something about them i will read it and then mark it as unread and be like oh i'll answer that but the only person that's going to answer it is me so i should have just answered it in the moment because not answering it i'm still going to have to answer it i don't know i'm really bad at emails so i have a column for my inbox where i will write like literally emails that i need to reply to so that i can get the satisfaction of checking them off. I have an admin column. I have a personal column. I have things that are due that day. And then I have things that are live that day. That's kind of like more tailored personal to me, obviously, but that's what's nice about this because those columns would not make sense to most people. And you can choose the columns and organizations of tasks that make sense to you. I'm just showing a blank spread because the day that this is going live is like the week that I'm in right now. So I don't want to like <laughs> post when I'm doing like workout classes and when I'm doing certain things just for safety reasons, but love a paper planner, but I love an undated planner. That's my first tip is to get some planning thing that works for you. So if that's, you know, Google calendar, that's Google calendar. If that's notes, that's notes. If it's a planner, it's a planner. But I think that it's not one size fits all. And if you buy a planner that someone else was like raving about, even this one, for example, if you buy something that someone else raves about and says it like changed their life and like, it's not changing yours then it might just not be working for you. So find some organization thing that works for you to organize your tasks and stuff because I love going to bed knowing what the next day is kind of gonna look like. Obviously things come up, like plans change, but I love knowing right from the start of the week and from the start of the month on theme with this video, what things are already gonna happen and then I can plan other things around them. All right, just got some of my own admin life organization stuff done, but I wanna take a pause and start cleaning because I like to clean in the daylight and I'm gonna have to cook lunch soon. So let's tackle the kitchen first. To the naked eye, my house seems very like surface clean right now. Well, I guess to the naked eye, it just like looks clean, but I, I see other things. I see some like stains on the couch that I've been like postponing washing, but I think today is going to be the day. Like I don't even know what this stuff is. This couch stains way easier than my last, but I think I'm also using it more than my last. So maybe that's evening out. All my baseboards are so freaking dusty in this house. Really want to like deep clean these chairs. Basically like I'm feeling, I don't really know the word for it. Basically things look clean, but they don't feel clean to me. I think that's the best way I can put it. And that also puts me in a funk, especially in the winter when you're spending more time indoors, your space really needs needs to feel like fresh or else that's like all your surroundings, whatever. So 
We've clearly moved on to the environment side of the three-pronged funk approach. I just put stuff away, but now I wanna like actually clean. So I'm gonna strip the couch cushions, put those in the wash. This is also my first time washing the couch. I feel like I look freaking crazy because of this tan, but don't worry, in like an hour, I will look normal again. You just have to bear with me for like the first part of the vlog for me to look like this. But I'm gonna wash the cushions my first time washing these. I think it'll go fine. Like I'm just gonna do the exact same thing that I used to do with my World Market couch. You might've seen that video on TikTok because I used to post all the time whenever I washed it because whenever someone sees a white couch or white furniture, they just can't fathom like not staining it, but it's actually not that hard to wash. Knock on wood, I almost knocked on my head. I <laughs> knock on wood. So that's what I'm about to do. I'll probably like mop the floors. I wanna do the bathroom really well. And then I'm gonna break soon and cook lunch. I just pulled all of the couch cushion like the covers off they're not even covers per se it's just the fact that the cushions like unzip so it's not like an aftermarket cover i just try and find furniture where you can unzip pillow covers and stuff to wash them and a cool thing about this one too is that if i wanted to i could pull off all of the stuff around like the modular base of it i'm not going to because that's like a bigger endeavor than i want to take right now there are a couple spots that i'm just going to try and like spot tree on this side but whenever i shop for furniture especially white furniture i always Always get stuff that can be like unzipped and washed even though these do say dry clean only I'm gonna wash them on cold and hang them dry and usually that's fine I have all the cushion covers stacked up right here right side out obviously and I'm gonna pre-treat some stains I have my Grove Co stain remover spray love this stuff and for anything that's a little bit more intense I do have some Folex sitting by And let the record show that the actual care instructions say 100% cotton, do not wash, do not bleach, do not tumble dry, do not, or dry clean only. Which is similar to the tag that was on my last couch and I used to do this process all the time in the last couch. So I'm just gonna go for it, but I do turn the cushions inside out. And if you're wondering why I didn't just spray the same stuff on the cushions, like when they were actually filled out when you could honestly see the stains better is because I don't really know how to go about cleaning the inserts themselves. So I try not to get those wet, like stained anything. And I would hate to pre-treat a stain while the cushion is on its insert and I don't know have it like seep through or something so I just treat them after I pull them off and then I am turning them all inside out and zipping them up so that they can't get tangled and ripped and stuff another thing that I like to do is clean them all at the same time it's something I do every time like if only one cushion needs cleaning it might be tempting to just like yank that one off and clean it on its own but I do them all at the same time because I don't want them to wear differently like I would hate for like the texture to change slightly on one of them because it's washed more often than other ones and then you can't really you know backtrack after that so I like to wash them all in like sink so that if this does contribute to any changes in the fabric texture or weave or anything at least it will do so you know at the same pace on every cushion and I separated the big base cushions from the back cushions I think I'm actually gonna do this in two loads just because it's such a big couch I think I'll do the pillows first. Dragged out the little Bissell steam cleaner to do some spots on the base of it. And I did like a nice vacuum of the actual, what would this be called? The couch itself, I guess. Um, Cause you know, like all my hair and stuff falls between the cushions and it looks like you could build a wig out of it. So these will go in the next load. All my cushions are right here, but it's already looking and feeling like more clean. I don't know how else to describe it. Took a quick break to make lunch. This is like a pork and cabbage recipe out of the new Definish cookbook that I've been cooking my way through. This is is already a repeat recipe. I made it once and I really liked it. So I put it back on the menu for this week. If you already have the book, I believe it is page like 154, maybe 152, but so good. And I filmed the process for TikTok. So if you want to see a little cook with me, go over to my TikTok. Showered off my tan, put in the other cushions and the first round are drying actually out on the porch because I like to air dry them. And I didn't wash my hair just now. I would have totally done like a deep condition hair mask situation, but I booked a hot yoga class tomorrow morning to make up for the one that I totally missed today. So that's where we're at in the day. It's also 2 p.m., which is when I start to feel a little frantic because I have so much left to do, but there's not so much sun. 
and what i'm trying to do more consciously is plan my to-do list around the daylight hours and look at every task that i hope to accomplish and figure out which ones need to happen while the sun is up or which ones need the sun up to happen i guess is a better way to look at it and prioritize those like for instance i want to go film something which i need daylight for but i also want to clean my bathroom out of the two the bathroom can get done after sundown and same with a lot of like editing and computer work that i have to do today the reason I did computer work earlier today is because like certain things like emails and like admin sending based tasks like if I promise someone something on Tuesday and I send it at 9 p.m. on Tuesday it feels like that's a little like unprepared of me so I like to get certain things that are like time based out the door first thing in the morning but if it was up to me I would do all my computer stuff at night just because I need to be maximizing the sunshine to feel good in the winter can't wait I think we're already kind of on the upward trajectory of a longer days so that's something to be looking forward to but in the meantime i definitely look at my to-do list and i choose what needs the sun what doesn't need the sun and kind of plan my day and schedule around that horrible advice if you work like an office job from like seven to five because then unfortunately you have to spend all of your sunlight hours in the office but if you work from home or you have like shift-based work, you work in healthcare, something like that. Just keep that in mind for your days. Try and think like what needs the sun and what needs daylight and what doesn't. But I'm just trying to put on a little makeup right now. I got sent the new Kosas BB Burst. It's like a little tinted thing. Um, not sure how I feel about it yet. So many people have been raving about it and I like I don't dislike it, but I'm kind of wondering if I'm missing something. Like, am I applying it wrong? I did just use my fingers. I've seen a lot of people use a brush. Jury's still out. I'm gonna give it a couple more uses, but it's a tinted gel cream, buildable coverage. So maybe I need to just build it up a little bit more, but I really like Kosas. Kosas has really good products. Put a tiny bit of makeup on. I don't think my products are like agreeing with each other. I look kind of crazy, but what can you do? The other load of the couch covers is about to be done. So I'm gonna wait to leave until that's done so that can start drying. But this is the outfit I just put on. Big oversized men's hoodie from, uh, I almost said American Eagle, Abercrombie. It's just like the big solid colored sweatshirts from them. And then these neon green bike shorts from Aritzia, the TNA. I actually really like their athletic wear. I might buy some more. I'm going to New York next week if I haven't mentioned that. I might buy some more there. And I'm starting to look tan. Let me show you the hands. So that's the true test. Hands look pretty good. Just got home from Target and trying to make the most of my last little sliver of sunlight. Honestly, pretty good lighting right now. If it was up to me, I would totally like maximize and hack my home to have like good lighting all the time with like certain paint colors and finishes and stuff. Certain things pull warmer so it makes things look like it's, I don't know. I'm looking forward to the day when I can control my environment more with paint colors and finishes and everything because I think I can work some wonders to make my light stretch longer, but that is not important right now. I'm trying to think what else I can get done while the sun is still up. It's four. Just went to Target and filled like a little golf cart to Target run. Super excited to edit that. I've been uploading all of my footage as I film it into its own little file on iMovie because that's how I edit my TikToks. So it's all organized. And now later tonight, I was going to say I can sit on the couch. I can't sit on the couch because I don't think the couch is going to be dry today. I think that's a tomorrow thing. I'm going to let the cushions dry overnight. I have stuff to drape over the bar stools right now, but I I guess I'll sit in bed and edit. I can't sit on the couch. Should have thought that one through. Speaking of couch, exciting news. I bought a couch. I bought <laughs> another couch that's gonna go in the primary bedroom because there's so much space in the primary bedroom and I just want somewhere, not in a clutter way, but when I have clean clothes, they either go on the bed or they pile up on the dresser and that dresser is my prized possession. I do not want anything messing with it. Scra not the clothes would scratch it, but heaven help, it's like damp and like lifts the finishes. I don't know. I want somewhere in the bedroom to put things that I don't necessarily want to put on the ground, if that makes sense. So found a really good deal on a dresser, not a dresser, what am I saying? But I found this couch that perfectly fits the space and it's like a $1,500 couch for $500. And I told myself that if it doesn't move with me into my next place, I can probably either break even or even like kind of profit in a sense if I sell it on Facebook Marketplace since it is such like a quality 
like higher end piece of furniture that I got for such a good deal. I think I'm gonna girl math and like at least break even. I'm basically renting it, I'm borrowing it for the next couple months. And if it doesn't move with me, it doesn't move with me. That's a question I get a lot is I like mentioned my upcoming move and people are like, why are you already moving? Like what's going on? I knew that this lease was short to begin with, but I really want to move down here. I like the house, like the finishes, the apartments that I was considering weren't going to be ready in time. So that's why I went with like such a short lease. It's going to be a pain in the butt to pack everything up and move it. But hey, you know what? People love moving content, so I'm doing it for the people. Not really, it's actually gonna be a big pain in the butt. Not looking forward to that. But with that being said, I was trying not to buy furniture for like specific places in this house, knowing that I wasn't gonna be here for so long. And then if it doesn't fit in the next place, that would be kind of a bummer. But I'm only doing that if I find like such a good deal where I'm comfortable kind of like being out that money. But I kind of switched my narrative to only buying furniture if I think I can like flip it quite honestly, or if it's just like such a good deal that I'm like, eh, like I can at least break even if I like put this for sale on Facebook or like on my Instagram stories or something. So all that to say that I have a couch coming in a couple weeks and I will make sure to vlog it because I'm so excited. It's like this cute little mocha brown couch. Who would have thought that Clara would ever own a couch that wasn't white? Please be proud of me. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Unfortunately, it was like final sale clearance discontinued. So if you do like it i'm sorry the odds of you finding it are probably pretty slim maybe check facebook the thing about cleaning out your fridge is that once you start you can't take a break because all your perishables are out and everything you know so this is what i just did i hate this fridge i hate 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 and i mean every word of it when i say that i hate this fridge the shelves like don't stay in like it almost makes me think that the owners of this house bought like a scratch and dent appliance that didn't have shelves and then they just like bought shelves because the shelves like don't like i don't know if you can see this like this is like hanging on by a thread i don't know if you can see that at all but this is just not not good i'm very happy to be moving away from this i dream about the day that i can install like a sub-zero fridge just one of those giant fridges refrigerators like with no freezer well i mean i guess i can have a freezer but they're just massive and they're like chef quality refrigerators and i just can't wait until the day that i can like choose my appliances i never thought i would be the type of person to be passionate about appliances but i have become very passionate about appliances and whatever that is i don't like it doesn't fit anything things freeze in random pockets of the fridge like it's just like super cold it doesn't make any sense i had maintenance come out to look at it they ghosted me he agreed that something was wrong and then he just ghosted me <laughs> so i'm just gonna survive but i cannot wait to be able to like choose and pick my own appliances that's something i'm really excited for made some dinner but unfortunately my camera had to charge so i couldn't show it but it was like this caesar chicken burger situation it was really good i'll link the recipe in the description box because it was super easy it was using the side dish caesar dressing oh my gosh i need to do a face mask i think my skin has gotten worse through the duration of the video it's all about that winter funk but anyways i'm sitting down to start editing some stuff um that i filmed today so getting like back on track with like work related and like the planning side of things because as much as i would love to like deep clean more stuff i'm just gonna let the couch get back to normal like dry and put all the cushions back on that'll be tomorrow so not in this vlog but i have been filming where is it a tiktok about it washing white couch that's what i named it um so i have quite a few videos that i can sit down and edit right now that i at least have the footage in here for so i think i'm gonna film or i think i'm gonna edit the pork and cabbage lunch that I made and get that posted for tonight. I'm a little wired, which may or may not be due to the copious amounts of caffeine I had this afternoon. But regardless, I'm gonna wind down with some tea. I'm not a huge tea person, but I'm honestly, I'm really trying to be one. I have this Beauty Sleep Chamomile Rose Tea with chamomile, blue butterfly pea flower, hibiscus. I don't know, haven't tried it before. That's probably gonna be good. And I have a hot water kettle somewhere, but it's like hard to get to right now. And I've just been boiling water in a pot. And honestly, if all that's been in here is water, I deem it clean and I will just dry it out and put it back in the cabinet. Holly girl is patiently awaiting her nightly treat. I think I forgot to mention on this vlog that I booked her a vet appointment. That's also something I like to do on like the first of the month is book any appointments like doctors, you know, car inspection, oil change, those type of things. Just like book those right now. But long story short, I booked Polly a vet appointment because I wanted to establish care for her at a vet here just in case I needed to rush her in. I feel like they're more likely to like fit you into the schedule. I mean, they would probably try regardless. 
regardless but once you're an actual patient with an established record and everything i think it's easier to get like an emergency visit if you really need it but all that to say is i made her appointment and they sent me an email calling her a senior rabbit like i guess she's like oh, i want to cry one little treat for my tiny senior rabbit you're gonna live forever though This tea is actually really good and it's like a pretty purple. I don't think I'll be able to show you without spilling it But maybe you should rewind and screenshot it because this is actually really good tea All in all, I do feel a little bit better about everything that I got done today about the month ahead I feel like January was very overwhelming this year. It wasn't like this fresh start at least for me And I feel like for most of the people in my life like January was kind of overwhelming I wouldn't say it was a bad start to 2024 but it was not an easy start to 2024. So February is a new month. I'm tan. I knocked out a bunch of my to-do list. My couch is clean. I'm gonna kill February in a positive way. I'm gonna end off today's vlog here. Hopefully next time you see me, I will have clear skin because that is the one thing that is keeping me down are these random breakouts that I'm having. But I'm hoping they're related to like the travel that I just did, the airplane and everything, which Actually, I'm hoping it's not related to that because I have more travel next week. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already. I've been posting every single week. I hope you've been liking the uploads. If there's anything you want to see on my channel, I feel like most people just like these like chatty vlogs. But if you want like a sit down video or like something in particular, let me know and I'll see what I can do. But other than that, make sure you're subscribed and follow me on TikTok and Instagram if you want to see more of like my short form content. But I hope you're having a great day and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.